Hey, Doctor. Thanks for taking my call. Happy and, uh, to do it, John. Everybody. What's up? Um, I just had a quick question. I wanted to know if there's any kind of uh, dietary change I can make to either eliminate or reduce uh, tonsil stones. Okay. All right. Uh, John, how old are you? 27. And how long have you had tonsillar stones? Um, well, I've been, I've noticed them probably for the last like three or four years, maybe. All right. Do you have any allergies to anything? Just penicillin. Okay. All right. What will happen? Okay. The tonsils are, are lymph tissue. Okay, and they have something in them called crypts. And what these things are, these are like deep indentations, deep meaning about a half a centimeter, not that deep. But for tonsil, it's pretty right. deep. Okay, and then debris forms in the tonsils. Okay, so it could be dried uh, saliva, it could be dried uh, mucus secretions, and then they inspissate. What'll, what that means is that they'll, they'll form these concretions. Those concretions can become ir uh, irritating. They can sometimes become infected. And that's where the issues come in. So typically what people will do is they'll loosen these things up and cough them out. There's really nothing you can do on a dietary basis, but there's some tricks that you can do to loosen the secretions. Okay, neither one, you know, what I'm going to suggest that you do is this. Get something called mu uh, Mucinex. Okay, the medication is Guifenesin. Okay, and I, I buy it in generic form because I think it works out just as well as the brand. The dosage there is going to be 500 to 1,000 milligrams twice a day. Now, guaifenesin is a mucolytic. It'll actually take the mucus secretions and cleave them. The second thing you take along with it is N-acetylcysteine. Okay, the brand name used to be Mucormist. We used to give it to kids with cystic, still do actually, with cystic fibrosis because it kicks up and breaks up the bronchial secretions. Sometimes they are very, very thick indeed. The combination is outrageous. Then what you do, and this is the magical part, you get hot tea. Okay, hot tea just like your mom used to make for you. Hot tea, put a little bit of lemon in it, flavor it as you wish, okay? And then what that will do will, is topically loosen up the tonsils so that you can cough these things out. And that's how you do it. It's no magic to it, but more than likely, you're just one of these individuals that hyper secretes from the tonsils. But you really don't want to do anything fancier than that because you probably don't need to.